In this video, I want to show you how to make a, uh, a combo chart or uh, a line and a, a bar chart, or it's called a two axis chart in Power BI. So here we have a Power BI session. This is for Power BI desktop. And if I look at my database connections, I have a customer's table and the orders table, and they're joined together on the customer ID field. So let's make a simple report. So we'll go back to the report tab over here and we're going to pick, uh, let's say we're looking for, we're looking for this one over here. It's called a line and a stacked column chart, or you can use this one, the line and the cluster column. Let's try, let's try this one. All right. So we're going to expand that. So let's say for each company or let's say for each country, I want to show the sum of the orders and I want to show the count of the orders. So I'll pick on the uh, customers table and I'll put company name over into the shared access and that'll be the rows. Then um, we'll come over here and we'll use the order amount and I'm going to move that into the values. And now we can see pretty quickly, we have a nice report that'll have um, the sum of the orders by customer. Let's turn the data labels on. I'll do the data labels. I mean the format and I'll pick on data labels right there. Good. So now I'm going to go back to the fields. And now I want to see the count, the number of orders that each company had. Let's do it by company instead. I mean, let's do it by country instead. So I'm going to remove the company name and pull up country and move that to the uh, shared access. That's better. Okay. So then we have USA going down. Uh, now I'd like to see these uh, numbers in a different format. So I'll pick on the, uh, the format over here, pick on the pull down for the data labels. And then you say the display and let's say it'll look better if it's in thousands. Yes, that's much better. Okay. So now I'll, I want to show the count. So I'll go back to the fields. Now it doesn't matter which field that you count. So I'll pick up customer ID and we'll drag it into the va uh, column. Now we see the number down here, but we really want to put that on the second axis. So, uh, cause you can hardly even see those numbers. So you make sure that we have the proper data uh, chart type, either this one, or this one. Either one of these two will work for what we're trying to do. Let's go with this one. Uh, I'm going to move my count and move that into where it says line values. And that is what I'm looking for. So if we look at the legend, uh, let's change uh, the title of the report. I'll pick on the format. I'll pick on title. Let's change it to say uh, order summary by country and for the first uh, for the first um, data label so right now that's in uh, thousands which isn't uh, fi uh, fine now this other one let's do it uh, in a different way so I'll go back to the line data labels and change that so we'll go back to the fields and we'll pick on the count there. Right. And uh, that's all fine. So uh, I'll make sure that is a count and it is. All right. So actually we'll rename that. We'll just call it count. And I'll go back to the order amount. And we'll rename that to uh, some Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Now let's go, um, what I have is, let's see what we did. So is this the chart type? I move the country into the shared axis. I move the order amount into the column values. And I move the, like the order ID or the customer ID into the line values. And now we were able to make this used to be called a combo chart or a two axis chart in Power BI.